Hi and welcome to MFL Outdoors and tonight we're going to nip out on the rabbits but the main reason is to check the ballistics calculator on the new update. Uh, I've just done the new update on the Hikmicro Alpex 4K LRF not that I had any problems with the last update that everyone seemed to uh, and I rather like the uh, the different coloured filters uh, the green's the one I prefer and it sort of keeps me night vision so uh, thumbs up for that one although uh, Hikmicro if you're listening a red filter would be uh, just as nice <laughs> right without further ado I'll get sorted out and we'll get out on the field and I'll see what footage I can get for you tonight I'm using the Browning T-Bolt in 2.2LR as normal I'm using the Hikmicro Alpex 4K LRF that's obviously with the new firmware update and the illuminator is the Solaris SRX V2 IR laser the ammunition I'm using tonight is the CCI suppressor, 45 grain hollow point. The scope's zero for 50 meters, and uh, as you can see here, um, the ballistics calculator is showing a 6.3 centimeter drop from zero. The ballistics calculator is showing a 4.5 centimeter drop from uh, zero point to target. This rabbit's out at 72 meters and you can see the ballistics calculator is saying it's an 8.2 centimeter drop from uh, the zero. Uh, it seems to be right on the money. Though I did have to take a second shot on this one, though that could have been me. This rabbit's at 49 metres and you can see the ballistics calculator showing just a very slight hold under. Again this one's out at 74 metres and you can see it's got the drop again of 8.5 centimetres so uh, the BC is doing its job. Though after taking the shot the uh, BC dropped to 8.4 centimetres uh, which was a little odd because I didn't uh, range find it at all after. This rabbit was out uh, at around the 80 metre mark, as you can see the drops uh, quite a bit more, it's 11.3 centimetres. Still on the money though. This one's out at over 100 metres and as you can see it's got a drop of 34.4 centimetres, uh, so it's quite a way out and that wind's horrendous, oh and it's just missed. Lucky rabbit. Okay, well, there's a few rabbits tonight just to have a look at the ballistics calculator, and uh, yeah, it seems to be working fine. Um, there's a little bit of wind out tonight, so. You have to allow for that as well, but uh, yeah, no problems at all. Saying that though, I haven't had any problems with any of the updates. I got out the chuck and I had a quick look around with the thermal and then I clocked this in the uh, uh, in the trees above me. It's about 64 metres away, somewhere around there, from what I remember. Um, 
so yeah, I thought uh, I'll have to film this one. What I'll do is uh, I'll go through some of the uh, different coloured filters so you can have a look at that while we're watching it. Absolutely stunning tawny owl. And as it shows on screen, I've just switched over to the yellow filter. And then onto the standard night vision without any filter. I have to say, with the right lighting, this scope produces an absolutely excellent image. The sound you're about to hear coming from the Tawny Owl is coming directly from the Scopes microphone. I'm not using any external microphone to capture that. That's an absolutely stunning example of a tawny. Right, back to the rabbits. This one was around 80 metres and I'm having to shoot through the gap in the fence. Uh, that rabbit's actually just in the wood line. Unfortunately now I've got to get over that fence and crawl into the wood to get it. Okay well that was 15 rabbits in total um, and we've got some excellent footage. Uh, I, I really like the one with the tawny owl that was cracking. Uh, it was just uh, at the right place at the right time. <laughs> Uh, what did you think of the uh, the way the ballistics calculator worked? I didn't find any problem with it at all. Uh, in fact, I didn't find any problem with the last update. Only the the only difference I could see last time was they put the filters on, and they made the zoom different. Um, but I didn't mind either way. Anyhow, I've done the latest one to see what it's like, so I can feed back to you guys. Um, have any of you got the uh, 4K or the 4K LRF? Have you done the latest update? Have you had any more problems? Uh, did you have any problems before? Drop it in the comments below. Be interested to hear. Right, I'm getting out of here. It's uh, gone 20 past 1 in the morning. So, all that's left for me to say is, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.